Remember Tony Morris, the anointed brother of Christ who was kicked to the curb a few months ago? Well, now we get to meet his oldest son, Jesse Morris, who seemed to have taken up his dad's mantle. <laughs> Not as a governing body member, but as a professional nutcase. Will Jesse prove to be more open-minded and progressive than his father? Or will he continue the legacy of dogmatic and incoherent rants that we've all learned to love from Uncle Tony? Watch and decide for yourself. Well, now we're looking forward to the first talk of our Gilead graduation program. It's going to be from a member of the United States Branch Committee, Brother Jesse Morris, and his theme is, What Will You Be Called? The greatest honor anyone can have is to be called a servant of the Most High God, Jehovah. Uh, literally no one in the world would take that title seriously. <laughs> I'd rather be a doctor or a professor or just a regular cult-free guy. And as you've seen from your deep study of God's word, servants of Jehovah also have distinct personality traits and qualities that are called to mind when their names are mentioned. Yep, different personalities. Some are creepy, some are sneaky, and others are greasy. <laughs> But all equally cult-easy. Damn, that doesn't rhyme. Your kind, positive speech and actions with one another and with those that you come in contact with has been very refreshing to see. It's a result of your deep trust in God's word and your deep trust in Jehovah himself. And your studies have just further enhanced that over these past few months. Uh, in contrast, much of the world's education fosters critical thinking. And note what the Watchtower says about this. We quote, Do not be fooled by the mistaken notion that a cynical, critical, pessimistic attitude is the same as intelligence. Actually, negative thinking demands little of the intellect. There is so much to break down from these few sentences. So I had to look up the Watchtower article Jesse just quoted from as if he was reading scripture. And it's from a Watchtower from 1993. This light is three decades old. I think Jesse probably fished it from the garbage or something. So what Jesse is doing here is claiming that critical thinking is bad. Critical thinking means taking a, an extraordinary claim with skepticism to not believe it at first sight, you know. But this Watchtower article simply urges believers to not adopt the cynical attitude that some people have in the world. I mean, it's not even talking about critical thinking skills. It's a completely different topic. But Jesse Morris basically misquoted his own Watchtower article and conflates critical thinking with a critical attitude, which are two completely different things. So it's not really the case that Jesse is discouraging the use of critical thinking. He basically has no concept of it. To him, the use of critical thinking skills is so foreign so alien that he doesn't even understand what critical thinking means. And when you think about it, it's perfectly ironic. <laughs> But I mean, can we really blame Jesse when he was raised by a man who constantly bitched about higher education on JW Broadcasting? Higher learning can easily influence thinking and attitudes. Elders in congregations that are in close proximity to universities are well aware of the repeated scenario of parents coming to the Kingdom Hall with a child that they're dropping off to attend the nearby university. Sadly, often in a few weeks or months, the child begins missing meetings. And not too long into the school year, he totally disappears. Just like they made you disappear, Uncle Tony? Then the parents are upset with the local body of elders for not shepherding their child. My question is, who dropped them off at the university? One mom, I recall, asked me to try and help her son who was attending a prestigious name university in Rhode Island. After visiting him, I later had to inform her that her son now believed in evolution. She refused to believe it until he finally told her himself. How sad. 
That clip always cracks me up. Oh no, your son took a basic biology class and now accepts that humanity did not poof into existence 6,000 years ago. How sad. So imagine being raised by Toni Morris, constantly hearing that there's no point in striving for higher education because Armageddon will arrive any second now. I mean, it seems Jesse Morris is simply continuing his father's long legacy of trashing higher education. Like father, like son. Watchtower is so against higher education because college students are expected to think critically, to present evidence for their arguments. Critical thinking skills allows us to be skeptical and to demand evidence from any extraordinary claim that comes our way. It helps us avoid falling for charlatans too easily, especially religious charlatans. Snake oil salesmen hate critical thinkers. Critical thinking is a life skill that all of us should embrace. And it's not the same thing as having a cynical attitude. This will allow you to address situations by putting the facts together, finding good in a matter, and speaking and acting kindly, positively, persuasively. When you do this, you'll be showing that you are wise in heart and you will be called understanding. The rest of Jesse's talk is entirely unremarkable, and so are the rest of the talks of this JW Broadcasting, with the exception of a few specially troubling clips. Work in unison, cooperate with your brothers and sisters for the Master. Today, Jehovah is providing direction through his faithful and discreet slave. And it is due to our limited understanding that at times the direction may appear to be a bit unusual. We saw you. We saw how you closely followed the direction of the faithful slave. You did just so. So following the faithful slave is the modern equivalent of Noah obeying the voice of God? Totally not a cult. We saw you grow in your love for one another for God's organization, for Jehovah, and for his son Jesus. All of this was a direct result of your sensitivity to the direction of the faithful slave. What the fuck? As you continue to follow closely the direction provided by Jehovah, through his faithful slave, others will see his blessing upon you. Damn, my cult alert button broke. This guy is nuts. We hope you enjoyed part one of the graduation. So I wonder if we're gonna be seeing more of Jesse in the future or if he was just a one hit wonder. Who knows? It's been weeks since Uncle Tony has been violently taken from our lives, but it seems we cannot escape his memory. Cheers, Jesse. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun together.